So some people say therapy is about having and accepting all your feelings, and this should be the goal. And I don't agree with that. Certainly these feelings disturb you, that's why you're in therapy, so accepting them is a little bit perverse. They hurt, they upset you. What are you supposed to get zen about that feeling? So what are you gonna do with these feelings? Well, the feelings don't feel to you like a disturbance. They feel to you like a problem, a problem like anxiety or depression, or maybe a problem that you're married to the wrong person or that your children are giving you a hard time or that someone at work is competing against you. Your mind understands your own disturbance as a, a problem. How are you gonna solve this? You're aware that you've lost your mind. You can't come up with a solution, no solution seems to be working but we don't look at ourselves and say oh I'm disturbed in therapy we deal with the problem until there's enough curiosity for us to start to question why a feeling has to bowl us over like anger or being dissed or humiliated by someone or feeling ashamed or disappointed or sad why when we have that feeling do we just really feel ill it takes us a long time to understand that in ourselves. And when we can begin to get curious about us, that's when therapy really helps. Because instead of being hijacked by the compulsion that gets created when you're disturbed by an emotion, you can think so you can create new possibilities for how to deal with your terrible partner or with your disturbed children, situations at work. And you can think in your own best interest with true self-compassion and you can help the people you love with a greater range of feeling because you don't have to just be in this tunnel of the disturbance. So what you should be doing in therapy is just talking, talking through your problems until they become questions. Why, why is this so difficult for me? And then the real therapy begins because then you'll start to think in new ways. You'll start to unpack your past. You'll look at your ancestors. You'll look at patterns and everything will start to make sense. And you'll be able to then choose what you want to do. Bye.